natural selection. It's pretty random. Everyone's heard of evolution, when different species change and adapt gradually over thousands of years, sometimes also creating entirely new species. But just how this happens comes down to a thing called natural selection, discovered by this guy, Charles Darwin. He realised that it's the environment that selects characteristics that are favourable to a species' survival, determining whether they live on or die out. In the 1800s, the peppered moth gradually changed from having a population of mostly light-coloured moths to there being a majority of dark-coloured moths. Because what else was happening in England in the 1800s? The Industrial Revolution. The trees the moths lived on became constantly coated in black soot, so the pale moths were more vulnerable to predators. Therefore, the characteristic of darker colouring became more favourable to survival within the new environment. That all makes sense, but doesn't it make you wonder, how is the same species of moth two different colours? A variation in the colour of moth would have initially occurred by what is called a random mutation, when a mistake in DNA is made and a new characteristic is introduced into a species completely randomly. It is then up to natural selection to determine whether the environment will favour that characteristic for survival and species possessing it will continue to breed. Random mutations are, as they're named, completely random. So evolution can only build from whatever random mutations have occurred and are at hand in the environment. So, as you can see, evolution happens because of natural selection. And natural selection, it's pretty random.